Um, classic vanilla fudge. Yum. Only because I want you to see how to make the variegate. You can make the variegate in any flavor you want. We make coffee fudge that has the stripes in it. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, they crack me up. Uh, it can wait. So that's it. So the stripes, that's... Mango. Because you know, if you put the fudge in the machine after the mix, you'll get chocolate milk. So, you know, you... And I figured out a way to do it. Steve, I'll make a half batch, five quarts. Uh, no, you might as well use up the mix. That's well, you can. That, what's that, a 12, right? Oh, yeah, right. Five quarts. Jeff used the word variegate. Do you know what that means, everybody? Variegate is a swirl. When you see a butterscotch swirl or a chocolate swirl or a strawberry swirl uh, through the ice cream, that's what he's going to make for you. And his method of doing it is really ingenious. It's ingenious. Ingenious. So we're going to add the mix. This is a half a batch, a half a bladder. How many quarts? Right. Does anybody want decaf besides me? Oh, okay. I'm going to make some. Okay. If anybody wants it. So what do you like in vanilla fudge ice cream? What would be the qualities that you'd look for? Oh, God, it's a tough crowd here. The what? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Fudge chunks? No, no, it's, it's just funny. It's funny. You ask them what they like. No, no, we ain't doing that. Well, here's, what, here's my thinking. Vanilla fudge ice count. cream is vanilla ice cream with the fudge going through it. The number one flavor in the whole world is vanilla. Number one in the whole world, vanilla. People like vanilla more than any other ice cream. So we should make the best vanilla ice cream we can to make the vanilla fudge ice cream. We should use the best, there's only two things, vanilla and fudge. So we should use the best vanilla ice cream and, and the best fudge. A lot of you asked me about fudge, and yeah, you can make it yourself. We make our own fudge. This is it. It's too thick at this point to use, so I'll show you what we have to do. This is uh, vanilla, we have the vanilla uh, the, the white, I call it white because it's not really vanilla yet. What's in that We're making box? it vanilla. <laughs> so, What's that? Crowd here. So that's, uh, that's the vanilla. Woo. What? The yes. Okay. Yes, very good. Uh, that's the vanilla. Woo! <laughs> um, and then we're going to uh, make great vanilla ice cream and then add the... And that's all you really need for great vanilla ice cream is great vanilla added to mix, which is what we've done. Great vanilla added to mix. This doesn't take very long. We have to make the fudge usable. This is the fudge, and it's, it's delicious, but it's too thick. So what we're going to do... is we're going to take a little of, because you don't want to dilute it with anything alien, so we'll dilute it with a little mix and vanilla. And this is a, uh, a standard Home Depot paint mixer. It's $3.00. And this is a standard Black & Decker drill. <laughs> uh, I always forget which side is reversed. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't know, you know? People I don't always know. get so uptight. We get more complaints about this. Oh, you're using a Black & Decker drill. Right. You say yourself because you didn't think of it in that day. Right. It's a great, you, I mean, the, the first thing you should buy after you set up is a, a drill, a paint mixer. Now, in fairness, I did cut it off. It's about two inches longer. But that's all right. You can do whatever you want. My buckets are a little higher than this, like this. So that's why I made it that height. But you can cut it off anywhere. It's ingenious. So you're going to take... Now, you understand what we're doing. We're just thinning it enough to make it usable because this won't spread easily enough because it's thick. So what we'll do is we'll take this 
and put some in there until we get the consistency we need. And all we're going to do Now that's a little thin so we'll add a little more. Yeah. Just hold the drill up a little so I can add more of this stuff. Yeah. I brought what I thought was the right amount, which is a quart. So we'll wind up using it all, I guess. And I won't get any left for Steve to have. <laughs> <laughs> Steve doesn't need it. No, nobody needs it. Oh, but it looks good. Oh, it's very good. Smell it. Perfect. Smell it. Whack. Okay. Don't stop. No. Did you start the machine? Uh, sure. And. Uh, Super premium ice cream. All right. So I have uh, presets on here. So super premium is roughly two thirds of what uh, homemade would be. But uh, we've already, over the years of doing this with 12 years of the infinite overrun control, we went to this keypad where we can have presets. So there's 10 different presets, 10 different products in here. Plus you can go manual. You can raise it up and down to whatever you want. You can do this without a paint mixer, with a mixer, or full, but it's so much easier. Excuse me? No, not yet. He why only not? wanted the uh, dash around. Oh, why not? You didn't tell me. I, I follow direction. All right, so that's how to mix it, and now I'll show you how to, ver how to stripe it. We ready? I think so. Not yet. When you make the variegate, make the ice cream, I normally pull it sooner than Steve. I like it loose, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But for the variegate, you want it a little firmer because you're going to have to add the variegate, the fudge to it, to make the swirl so you don't want it to be soupy. So normally I would pull it now. I want it a little firmer. Okay, we're there. Boy, that's beautiful. Look at that, beautiful. Now you can take the speed up. What? You can manually push the speed up. Increase the up it up. Should I stick the spatula in now? No, no, I don't think so. Now I can, right? Yeah. All right, so here's how you make a variegate. Can you all see? Yeah, let me move some of this. You, want, you definitely want to see this, so if you say you can't see it, stand up. Oh, they are awake. All you're going to do is pour stuff on top. Jack, can you zoom in on that? And then... Thanks. Oh, Maybe the container. side camera? Oh, I put it in the wrong container. All right, we'll have to make do. Uh, one or two swirls, that's it. Folds, folds. 
That's it. And now I made a mistake. Normally this is in a squeeze container. I had it ready, but it got mangoed, I think. Here, use that one. Yeah. Which one? This right one? So forget that I just did that. <laughs> And now when you take it and you put it into your storage or whatever, you squeeze it one or two folds and you squeeze it and you'll get the stripes. Isn't that nice? Easy. How long did that take you to come up with that? Six years. No, about five. Now, we don't normally put them in this little thing. That's why it's dripping over. But And it looks like briars. <laughs> I would hope so. Briars used to be my favorite ice cream. But no more. It's all air now, briars. Yeah, it is. Why did they do that? I don't know. They think, well, profit they, margin. They don't realize that people aren't buying it. My would, favorite is Bluebell of the commercials. Bluebell's good, too. They were number one briars. All growing up, briars was number one. Yeah. And then they went and screwed with it. So when you, uh, when you have a big container, it'll have all those stripes in it. It's pretty cool. You want to try some of this? Sure. All right. Everybody jump up. Come on. One more time. Last this is one. it, last chance. Fill up. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's the last one. Mm. Okay, last chance before you leave. Jeff's book. Oh, you'd have to talk to him. <laughs> Girl.